up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy Kush back at it again with another Giants video. This one coming out a bit later than usual. My bad, I got caught up in some stuff. I'm also pretty sure all of you guys are looking at what's happening on the news right now. I hope you guys are staying safe no matter where you are. A lot of stuff happening in politics today. But let's get into the Giants news here. Um, last night, and this was on my live stream as well, we talked about this a little bit. Uh, Giants extended defensive coordinator Patrick Graham, locking him up for at least one more year and moving forward with the guy that was really kind of, you know, the reason that the Giants defense jumped from a bottom of the league, you know, ranked number 30, 31 in terms of points allowed and whatnot, to a top 10 defense in terms of points allowed. And I think a, I want to say somewhere around 11 or 12 overall, all things considered, Patrick Graham was the absolute mastermind upon the Giants coaching staff this year and kind of came out of nowhere because... He was the one guy people were kind of questioning and wondering how good he would be because in his previous year with Miami, Miami's defense was not that good. You know, they started off 0-8 uh, for a reason. But Patrick Graham, I think all Giants fans realize how much, you know, of an asset he is to this team and how good of a coach he is, how much he's done um, in terms of squeezing out every last bit of talent from, <laughs> you know, people on this roster, you know, six, seven round guys, uh, guys that we signed late. This defense really overperformed. And that's down to coaching and Patrick Graham, man. Absolutely love the fact that we got him locked up. And I mean, to be honest with you guys, other than that, I don't really have any other thoughts on it. I was, was I worried Graham was going to go anywhere? No, not really. Um, there was a little bit of a scare, you know, a couple days ago when the Jets put in a request to interview him for their head coaching position. And if there's anybody on the Giants coaching staff that deserves a head coaching position, it is indeed Patrick Graham. But I thought to myself, now nah, he's going to be back. He sees what he's building here. He realizes that he started something and Graham seems like the guy, just like every other guy that Joe Judge brought along here. They're not, you know, they're not quitters. When they start something, they finish it. They're good teachers, they're good coaches and good coaches finish their job and the job has just began here overall in, um, in New York. So I always had a feeling he was gonna come back. What this does make me think about though is the other coordinator, Jason Garrett, who another team, the Los Angeles Chargers, put in a request to interview for a head coaching job and you guys know my take on Jason Garrett I don't try and sugarcoat it since about week four I wanted him out of New York I thought you know up until week four he did a terrible job and then well overall in the entire season you'll be hard pressed to find a Giants fan that wouldn't say that Jason Garrett has been a terrible offensive coordinator for us this year now is there more you know are there more facets to it than just Jason Garrett being a bad play caller absolutely it's not like our weapons helped him out at all you know, it's not like uh, Evan Ingram helped them out at all. It's not like the quarterback at times, Daniel Jones, didn't help him out at all. But Garrett was just not really doing a good job with calling plays and calling routes and whatnot. And we saw that a little bit when Freddie Kitchen stepped in for that one game. And I do want to say today there was the press conference with Mara and Gettleman, um, which is something else I'm going to get into. This is going to be kind of a, a mosh pit of a video, a good amount of topics that just happened within the past 24 hours. Where Mara and Gettleman, they both basically said with that they recognize that they need to add playmakers to this offense and they recognize that the offense struggled and that's something that they're going to focus on in the offseason. So that bodes well for the Giants because that's definitely other than edge. It's just that sadly there's not really any edges in free agency or the draft worth taking in my opinion. Other than that, our biggest need would be wide receiver or just a playmaker for Daniel Jones. Specifically at that wide receiver position, the only reason I'm saying um, a playmaker is because Evan Ingram, I don't know what's going to happen with him, but it's good to see that ownership realizes that there's a problem with the, with the offense and so does Gettleman. Gives me a little bit of hope um, that we're either going to pick somebody up early in the draft or we're going to attack that position several times in both facets of the draft and free agency. The one thing I know that they definitely didn't say, but they realize is that they're looking at the offense. You know that they know as well that Jason Garrett is a little bit of a problem because if he wasn't, they would have extended him as fast as they extended uh, Patrick Graham. I mean, Graham was extended basically the first day of, you know, after the regular season ended. Jason Garrett still has not been. Now, they also said in that press conference, I can't remember if it was Gettleman or Mara specifically, one of them, they also said they don't want to put Daniel Jones, because they do believe in him, they don't want to put Daniel Jones in the uh, situation of three coordinators in three years, because that's not a great start for a quarterback at the beginning of his career, which is the argument some Giants fans do make when they say keep Jason Garrett, right? 
So they realize that and I think that's why they have an extended Gary. I think they're basically in the point of we recognize he's the problem. We're not going to fire him because we don't want to put too much pressure on Jones. But at the same time, if another team like the Chargers, for example, who did put in a request, if another team comes and scoops him up, they're not, you know, they're going to let that happen. They're not going to be sad if Jason Garrett walks of his own accord. And I think that's kind of the game plan they're going to go in with. Not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I would just straight up outright cut him. That's just me. But that tells me that they do recognize there's a problem because he has not been extended yet. I mean, think about it. If you know that you want the guy back, then bring him back immediately like you did with Patrick Graham. They have not done that. And <laughs> I'm going to wait and see how this Chargers interview plays out. I hope that they do take him off our hands and we're going to promote from within. That's the idea. You know, the, the fact that Gettleman um, said that they don't want three corners in three years because of the three different systems. That means if Garrett does move on, they're going to get somebody from within. So that means either um, Freddie Kitchens or Jerry Shaplinski, who are the top two guys within the Giants right now, you know, going up for that offensive coordinator spot should Jason Garrett walk. But that's just my thoughts on it. And he probably will not walk because, I mean, I don't know. I don't think the Chargers are a, you know, a terrible organization. I, I think they can definitely realize that Garrett is not the best head coaching material out there. He came to the Giants as the offensive coordinator in the first place because he was doing a bad job over at Dallas as a as a head coach um so i don't know unless the chargers really really just want to help the giants out i don't see him leaving i'm be honest with you guys i do see jason garrett with the team next year as i do a lot of people you know with evan ingram i've said this before as well but what i hope is that with the increase in playmakers or you know just you know better talent on the offensive side of the ball i hope that the that the play calling as well will improve but that's just my thoughts and thoughts on it Couple, couple of things to cover real quick. Um, mine kind of all over the place, but it's just how it is in the off season. You know, off season is basically underway. Um, it has not even officially started yet, and the Giants, in my opinion, are off to a good start because we got Graham back. But put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you all think. Um, on any topic of this, like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.